Welcome back to All About Avatar. Today I have for you a very special video. About a month ago, we hit 10,000 subscribers. To celebrate, I wanted to do a special video answering your questions and to do a bit of reflection of how the journey has been so far, growing the channel with you guys. So, yeah, wow, 10,000 subscribers. First of all, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, liking the videos, engaging in the polls and in the comments, everything. Just thank you. Before we start with all the questions from the Q&A, some people have been wondering... Good video, I can tell by your accent you're Dutch. I smell no, are Dutch. You Dutch. Hold up, I smell Good Dutch, video, man. but do I Great sense list. Dutch are accent? Are you Dutch? Dutch? I think that's the accent I hear. And well, yeah, I'm Dutch. I wish my accent wasn't that obvious, but when I talk there seems to be a lot of Dutchness in my voice. I simply can't help it. So, with my nationality out of the way, let's continue with the Q&A. First question is from Marco Capronini, who asks... When did you start watching Avatar The Last Airbender? Great question, Marco. So if I remember correctly, I was probably about 7, 6 or 8, I don't know, when I first started watching Avatar The Last Airbender, and I remember instantly being obsessed with it. I was always really into fantasy stuff growing up, and Avatar just hit that sweet spot of being fantasy with incredible world building, characters and fight scenes. From then on, I probably watched the show every year once or twice, eventually watching Korra along with it. I remember those Avatar marathons during the weekend where they would just run the entire show and my eyes were glued to the screen for 10 hours a day. So yeah, I started watching pretty long time ago. Next question is from Double. Top 3 ice cream flavors. Uh, Lemon mint strawberry. Moving on, third question comes from Dragon Zero Games, who asks, If Aang wasn't the Avatar, who out of the crew should be the Avatar instead? Hmm, interesting question. I think Toph would probably be the best candidate. I'd choose her because it would probably be really interesting to have her be incredible at earthbending already due to her blindness, while the other elements could maybe give her some more trouble and we could see her overcoming some of her struggles with learning all the other elements. Toph's character arc, that is, asking for help and not thinking you need to do it on your own, could then also be further developed. Maybe her need to be independent could result in her being reluctant to accept her masters for the other elements. Interesting idea, maybe I'll do a video on this topic in the future, who knows. Then we have a question from Ty. Ty writes, Hey, first of all, congratulations on a 10,000 mark. This is well deserved and I expect seeing these numbers greatly increase soon. Well, thank you, Ty. My question, what is your little pet peeve in the otherwise flawless series? Okay, well, I'm going to assume you mean Avatar The Last Airbender because people aren't usually quick to call Korra a flawless series. But what a great question. First of all, I really don't think Avatar is flawless. It comes close for sure, but it ain't flawless. Probably the biggest pet peeve I have is season 1's tone and animation just being so far off from what we see later on in the series. Every time I restart watching the series, I have this image in my head of what Avatar is and why it is so good. But then you get to the first 10 episodes and while they're still good, the quality is different from what we see in season 2 and 3. I'm also one of those people that has to constantly recommend Avatar to every living creature on Earth and it's kind of a shame that I feel the need to mention that the really good stuff comes in season 2 and 3. So that's probably my biggest pet peeve with the series. The next question is from Setsuro. Other than Avatar, what are your favorite shows and movies? Other cartoons, anime, TV series, anything, I don't know. Well, Setsuro, thank you for your question. Probably Fullmetal Alchemist, Death Note, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Those are my favorite pieces of media of all time. Besides Avatar, of course. Next question is from Taiga Kagami, who asks two questions. Firstly, which series do you prefer and why? The Last Airbender or Korra? And two, who's your preferred Avatar of all time? So, first, which series do I prefer? Generally, I think Avatar The Last Airbender is better. At least seasons 2 and 3 are on a whole different level than Korra. The characters in The Last Airbender are just better written, I'd say. I also enjoy the time setting better in The Last Airbender than in Korra because I'm more of a fan of older civilizations rather than industrial civilizations, but that's just my preference. But as of right now though, I've seen The Last Airbender so many times that watching Korra now really feels like watching something new. I've seen Korra quite often too, just not as much as The Last Airbender. So that's my answer for you. Generally The Last Airbender, but if you ask me right now which one I'd like to watch, it'd probably be Korra. And regarding the second question, who's your preferred avatar of all time? Hmm, probably Roku. I really enjoy Roku's character for some reason. His background story in the episode The Avatar and the Fire Lord is just excellent. One of the best episodes of The Last Airbender, easily. I think the tension between him being a Fire Nation citizen and a Fire Nation avatar in the time where Fire Lord Sozin started his Imperial War is very interesting. And I like that Roku admits that he made one big mistake. 
He's not perfect, he probably is the worst avatar when we think about it in terms of keeping balance. Which I think makes him interesting, so that's my answer. Next question is from Avery Productions. Who is in your opinion the most underutilized character in Avatar? Uh, I'd say probably Mei. Honestly, I don't know if we need more screen time for Mei. She's given not too much, not too little screen time in my opinion. Really, I just wish we could see a bit more of what's going on in her head. I think characters who show very intense apathy like Mei are pretty interesting. They detach themselves from everything. They've taught themselves to not care about anything as a defense mechanism. I just wish the screen time Mei got was dedicated more to showing why she chooses not to care. If that makes sense. Maybe they could have given us more flashbacks for Mei. What do you guys think? Last question or questions are from Linda. What character do you feel you resemble most or would like to resemble? Who I resemble most is probably Sokka, and who I'd like to resemble is Iroh, of course. I wish I were that based. Which nation would you be a part of? Water tribe. What was your favorite villain? Well, probably Zaheer or Azula. Zaheer because an airbending villain is just awesome and I love him being an anarchist. And Azula because of the sheer terror that emanates from her being every time she enters a scene. How has the show impacted you? Well, I've spent a considerable amount of time watching the show and it's my favorite piece of media of all time. So much so that I started this YouTube channel, which is now my job, something I would have never imagined. So it has impacted me quite a lot. And how old are you? 21. So that was it for the Q&A. Thank you so much for the questions. Now I just wanted to do a bit of reflection. I started this channel as a random project, really. I loved Avatar and I love watching Avatar YouTubers talk about the series and... In the back of my mind, I always thought I could do that too, and I'll do it sometime, probably. But I just kept putting it off, and one year ago I said, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make one video. And that video was a lot of work, and I was still really bad at editing. The production value of that video is also pretty low. I felt so awkward recording the script, but the overall process of making the video was really enjoyable. It did horribly, though. After six months, the video had like 100 views, so I took a break and I was content with that one video for a while. Until about four months later and I had another idea for a video. I felt that no one was really talking about how Spirits and Korra were so much worse than in The Last Airbender. So I took the chance and made a video about the topic. And that video did pretty bad too. Then I went on vacation, I didn't check the video and after two weeks I came back and saw that the video went totally viral. It had 120,000 views and I, I just couldn't believe my eyes. It was so, so exciting. I love interacting with you guys in the comments and I felt so much motivation to make new videos. Subsequently, I started my ranking series, which is now easily the most successful series on my channel. I got into sponsorships and I could make this channel my actual job, something which I would have never expected. Overall, the reception of my videos has been extremely positive. When starting the channel, honestly, I expected more negative comments here and there, but really, pretty much all the comments I see are positive, which is amazing. Of course, there's disagreement, but disagreement is good. It's fun to talk about the series, to have discussions about our opinions, so thank you for being positive and for voicing your opinions too. Granted, some videos do better than others, which is fine. The gaming videos, for example, do pretty poorly. But I just love making those, so I'll continue doing them. I'm also still in the process of figuring out the balance of the ranking videos, the video essays and the gaming videos. But this year you can at least expect one video every week. And I'm so excited to continue making content for you guys. Thank you again for subscribing, sticking with the channel and supporting me. It really, really means the world. I hope I'll reach around 25,000 subscribers this year. Let's dream big. And as usual, have a good one. See ya.